the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Okay. Just like those people up here were from the region where Europeans, okay? So in Africa and the Middle East, they are not people, they are not Europeans, okay? Uh, they are people of color. And and Europeans, they're not European white, and that's no brainer. At least for me, I hope for you too. But you see, each of itself is right on the continent of Africa. And the children of Israel, Hebrews, has left there after 400 years being there. In other words, they were born, natural born in Africa. It was natural born in Africa. And they left. I ain't talking about, I ain't talking about the 75 that came in. I'm talking about the 75, the, the million almost that left. They were born, natural born in Africa and Egypt. And they just walked a little distance right there, left Africa and went right here, okay? Which used to be part of Africa as well anyway. But that's another story. We can work on that. I just want to give you the, the, the geographical map and that these people are designated by our census as white people. See my arrow going back and forth, but they don't recognize themselves as being white and most white people don't recognize them as being white either. So when we talk about Africa, Black History Month, we're talking about African descent. That's why this is tied, tied that into that African descent. Well, there's Africa for you to take a look, Africa, all right? And the children of Israel, the Hebrews, went in there with 75 people for 400 some years and then they left to go to another place that was promised by God, which is, it used to be Canaanites, the Canaanites, right? Remember the Canaanites? They, they, they were also people from the descendants of Ham. So they moved from one area to the next, uh, based with people of color. That's the only reason I want to show that. I think, I think most people know that, but most people may not know that, so I'm just showing you that, you know? Because sometimes people got to look at a map to see what we're talking about. Now, historic, his, historical appearance. Research on ancient skeletons in Palestine suggests that Judeans at the time were biologically closer to Iraqi Jews than to any other contemporary population, according to special specialist biohistorian Yusufi Nega, uh, thus in terms of physical appearance. The average Judean, Judean of the time would have likely had brown or even black hair, olive skin color, and we're going to go with what skin olive looks like, and brown eyes. Judean men at the time period were on average about 1.65 meters or five feet, five inches in height. That puts, I'm, I'm taller than that. Hey! <laughs> uh, scholars also suggest that it's likely that. Yeshua, Jesus, had short hair and a beard in accordance with Jewish practice at the time and appearance of philosophers. The early depiction of Jesus from the Roman catacomb depict him as free of facial hair uh, because they're going to basically draw him based on what they depict him to be. But this is, most cases, he was out of color. See, that's what I'm saying, African-American, people of color, black, however you want to call it. That's that's what you need to be aware of. That's why they put in there. I put in what olive color look like. If you see, there's that uh, brown lady over there. That's a person of color. That's what olive is. Because, you know, we don't have green people. I hope you, you know, Spock in Star Trek was been green, but then they, they decided not to make them green. They just had green blood, but you know, his outer, outward appearance was not uh, uh green because we don't have green people right you remember the, the marshes little green men and all that but human beings are not in that shade of color green 
right? So that's what they call olive color. That's a beautiful color, is it not? I think it is too. Then there's some of our history books. When you look read the history books sometimes, it also tries to obscure people of color and say swarthy skin color. That's a that's swarthy skin color right there. <laughs> or ruddy skin color. You'll see even in the Bible, somebody some people describe it as ruddy. Uh, King David, the black Hebrews with ruddy skin and red hair. Uh, Saul, Esau, ruddy and red hair. Uh, that's 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 what you see far as ruddy. It, what it what it means is they they're not they're not European white. I just I, it, it just need to make sure we understand that yeah, as we move forward and understand the people in the Bible, they're not. European white. There's some Hispanic people that are European white, because they, because they, you know, come from Spain. And then there's some Hispanic people that are suave or olive color skin or brown skin or even black. They, they, so language doesn't make you one color. We all know that. I think we do. But I just want to put that into the fact is we talk Black History Month. We really in the use of style is Color People's Month. Well, Color People's Month, we, we're talking about even the people in the Bible were people of color. You got, when they say Greek, then you know that's from Europe. When they say Romans, you know that's from Rome. But when they say something from the Middle East, or when they say something from Africa, you know those are people of color. That's all I need you to make sure you understand that. And that's why I need you to understand that it doesn't matter about the color of people's skin. It doesn't matter even in wars, right? It, it doesn't matter. And that's, that's really what I want to be able to show you that if, if, if we sit there, if, if we go to the modern day time, 2023, where you got Russia attacking Ukraine, those people are in, in essence the same color and in some cases the same language and they're fighting each other using weapons of mass destruction fighting each other and they got the same color so color doesn't matter to them people in Africa are fighting each other color doesn't matter to them people in China has fought each other or let's say in Taiwan China same, same look, same complexion in most cases. I mean, they got different shades of color in those countries too. But the bottom line is they, they have the same features and they're still killing each other. Uh, just just to, to, to put a spin on that is to say it doesn't matter. God created all of us the same. And we need to recognize that. And don't get trapped in this this, this never-ending cycle of trying to demonize people for your own benefit. Because what profits a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? We're going to wrap up with this last slide here, just just to remind you, because it, you, I, I hope I covered a lot concerning history, Black history. Uh, talk about the the people from Israel, the Hebrews uh, that came out. That's what we're talking about, the black Hebrews and stuff like that. But I'm just talking about the fact is that they came out of Africa for after 400 years, they were natural born Africans, just like somebody comes to this country, they're called natural born. They can be president of the United States because they were natural born. Those people was in that country for four years hundred and some are years. When they left, they left as Africans because they were born in Africa. Number of Moses or, or excuse me, number of Abraham or anybody else came out that way. Amen. So just remember that. So uh, I just want to make sure we get that. Uh, it's, it's the fact is that we are all children of God and color don't matter. Look at this. Jeremiah 17, 9. The heart is deceitful above all things. That's talking about the heart of man. 
and desperately wicked. Who can know it? I, the Lord, searches the heart. I tries the rain. I don't, he don't search the color of your skin. He tries to search your heart and tries the rain, even unto every man according to his ways and according to the fruits of his doing. God is going to judge you for the fruits that you bear. And you don't want to be caught up in this situation where you bear bad fruit. You don't want to do that. You, I mean, just think about that. You don't want let me come out this for a second. I'll come back. I'm sorry. I'm going to wrap it up. You don't want to bear bad fruit and think you can go before God and say, well, Lord, I, I, did I prophesy in your name? There's people that are sitting there, I think, even, and then you got the police force doing it. You got you got gangbangers doing it. You got you got people, I think, sometimes in the medical profession are doing bad things. And, and you sit there and say, what God are you serving? What God tells you to hate somebody just for the mere color of the skin. That's that's called stupidity. Really. Don't do that. Because it's not the will of God. Don't bear bare fruit because it's not the will of God. But Christ said in John 14, 34, a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. 35 said, men will know, see, we're talking about the world, will know that you are his disciples for the love that you show one another. He told us to go preach the good news. The good news is not about discrimination. The good news is not about raping or killing somebody or causing somebody to be a criminal just for you. you you're going to lie to God, but you're going to go to God and say, Lord, I killed those criminals. He goes, uh, how was they a criminal? Because of color of skin. Because that's what I can know. I didn't know. I keep hearing that they're all of them like that. That's what I heard, Lord. But you didn't see that. Did you believe it just because of what you heard or what you saw? Think about it. 41 million people of color, and there's more than that. Because if they, if the census is called categorizing people from, from Middle East and from Northern Africa as, 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 as people, people that are white, Europeans, you know we got more people than that. But that's another story by itself. The point is, we need to understand that color doesn't matter. It didn't matter to God. God. When God created man, he created man his own image. So we don't want to be evil. We don't want to bear bad fruit because God judges not the color of your skin. That's the whole point I'm trying to say. That's the scripture I was reading. God searches the heart of man. All right? So as we close up, let's, let's go ahead and keep wrapping it up real quick because I, I think it's important that you get the right information. Study to show yourself approved of the God. God loves you. I love you. I don't care whether you're white. I don't care whether you're black. I don't care you're brown. I love you. God bless you. And I forgive you. Whether you're black or white, I don't care. I ain't got time to fool around with you. I need forgiveness for, I need my forgiveness. So I'm not going to mess it up not forgiving you. So, Jeremiah 17, 9 again. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked who can know it. I, the Lord, searches the heart, not the color of skin. I try the rain, even to give every man, that means each of us, every last one of you, me too, give every man according to his ways and according to the fruits of his doing. That's what God is going to do. You ain't going to go before God and sit there and say, the pastor told me to kill that black man. The pastor told me to kill that white man. The pastor told me to kill that Jew. You're not going to make it that way. That young man that was that was that shot those people in New York City because of the color of his skin. He even he said there and said, That's not me. I don't know why I did that. I shouldn't have done it. That was wrong. Yeah, you was wrong. It don't make sense, does it? I guarantee it does not make him sitting there going to spend the rest of his life in prison sitting there telling you it does not make sense. Being 19 years old and be in prison for the rest of his life because he thought that it was okay to kill innocent people just because of the mere color of their skin. Didn't even know him. Didn't even know him. Jesus said in Matthew 22, 33, 37, Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. The second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. All these two commandments hate all the laws and the prophets. He said, love your neighbor. If you don't know who your neighbor is, 
Just look to your right, look at your left. Look to the one country and another country. Look at the world. The whole world is your neighbor. You need to know that. Matthew 12, 30, 25 says, and Jesus said, Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. And every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. <laughs> we are great when we operate as one. We are great when we operate in unity. We are great when we do the things that are acceptable in the will of God. We are great because we are the children of God. And we're not haters. We're not abusers. You know you're not. But you tolerate the people that are. And you need to sit there and be able to minister the gospel to them so that they, so that they know the truth and the truth will make them free. Whether they're black or brown or white, Let's give people the truth. Let's not be like the Sadducees and, and Sadducees or Pharisees and the Sadducees because they sat there. And, and you know what? A lot of cases, they, they made people worse. And that's what I think when you're talking about teaching your children, you're doing the same thing. Matthew 23, 10. Neither be ye called masters. What is slavery? Look at slavery. For one is your master, even Christ, the anointed one. That's what the Bible says. But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased. So if you sit and try to lift yourself up just for the color of your skin, shall be abased. And he that humbles himself shall be exalted. But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you shut up the kingdom of heaven against men and that's what people was doing you know and that was something you're trying to do today for you need to go in yourself and you can't i know you're gonna go in there act like a devil and then you go into the kingdom you know you're not right for you need to go in yourself need to suffer ye them that are entering to go in war unto you scribes pharisees hypocrites they devour widows' houses for pretense and make long prayer. Therefore, you shall receive the greater damnation. That's the issue I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to keep you from avoiding. Warn you, scribes and hypocrites, for you compass the sea and land to make one proselyte. And when he is made, you make him twofold more the child of hell than yourself. That, to me, is what racism does. And that is why we have recognition of Black History Month, is to show the contributions and to show the significant contributions people make in life, mankind, and the world. So that we stop hearing the rhetoric that some of you are teaching at home. Stop teaching something that is going to cause your child into damnation because you're teaching them to hate, and they don't even know why they hate it. That young man that went up there and killed those people in New York doesn't know why. He was just taught that way. How many of us are teaching that to our children? And so I ask the question, how many are you teaching to go to somebody to go to hell? Hey, it does not matter of color or where they came from. It doesn't matter. Even our country, like I said, we did with the census. Obviously, they, they, they're going to get people from Africa and give them the status of whites. That means they don't care where they came from. They just want to categorize them as white. So therefore, the skin color had nothing to do with that, did it? That's that's because it doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter where you come from. You know what? It matters where you go if you're going to heaven. But if you want to be, go, you want to Put yourself in damnation. You want to guarantee damnation for yourself and for your children? Then then hell has enlarged itself and it can accommodate. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth selling your soul for vain glory. It's not worth it. Let's honor. And I don't care if we ever even white history month. Let's honor one another. Love one another. Get along with one another. 
because he loves you. Color doesn't matter. It shouldn't. We're all human beings. And I challenge that one of my buddies is going to say he's not 99.9 like everybody else, but yes, he is. And he knows that if he put his blood test in there, he knew he'd get the same results. And same thing for you too. Put the blood. That's why we can share blood for one another. <laughs> That's, that's why we can use the different organs for one another. And if you do that out of hate, I just pray for you. Amen? But the good news is, even our atrocities and bad things we've done in the past is forgiven if you ask for it. And remember to forgive others as well. Because the blood of Christ the love of God covers a multitude of sin. <laughs> and that's the blessing. That's the gospel. So that's Black History Month for you. I may cover some during the middle of the week. But the main thing to show you is <laughs> God is love. And color don't matter. Hey. <laughs> so let's get a White History Month. We get a chance so you can all be happy. Because I think I don't want to feel like anybody should be ostracized. Period. But let's not demonize one another, call somebody a criminal, just gonna color the skin. Tell those police officers stop doing that. The slave, slave, trip, slave is over with, so don't sit there and try to kill somebody just because of color of skin. Let's love one another, amen? All right, I hope you enjoyed the study. It's a long study, but it's worth it. And I'm gonna get it out as soon as I can. I will do the piecemeal, but I think I may put this one all the way out. No, i put a piecemeal. We'll see. God bless you. And uh, have a great day, man. <laughs> Love you. Bye bye. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.